Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are here today with a new video and it's a slightly different video than we've done on this channel before. There is going to be some elements of theory to this, however it's going to be in a very different format. I am going to be giving five predictions for the upcoming Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore film and I'm going to come back to these after we've watched the film and we've had time to process it and see how accurate I was and I will give my accuracy a rating out of seven. When it comes closer to the Hogwarts Legacy game I will probably do something similar for that if you like me are excited for the fantastic beast movie then please check out my trailer breakdowns i have broken down each individual trailer um, i've gone through it frame by frame to see what i can find and if there's any secrets within those trailers that might hint as to what's going to happen i will link these down below if you want to check them out also, talking about the Hogwarts Legacy game, I have also broke down the trailer that we've got for that frame by frame and noticed lots of hidden details. That will also be linked in the description. So, my first prediction is that the magical creature that we see Newt running with in the forest and trying to protect from Grindelwald followers is going to be very important to destroy the Blood Pact. Now, as my theories go on, this will change this theory slightly, but I will explain it fully at that moment. So my theory is, is this is going to be the start of the film, and Newt is going to have to collect this creature for Dumbledore, because Dumbledore believes that this creature has something within its anatomy that is going to help destroy the blood pack, which would then allow him to fight Grindelwald. For this creature to be so vital to Grindelwald's plans would explain why his followers are there to try to prevent Newt from capturing it. If it is that vital to stop Dumbledore from fighting Grindelwald as he is probably the only one powerful enough to defeat him then this creature could be very pivotal to the plot. So my second theory is that Tina is hiding throughout this movie using the Polyjuice Potion. Now it's clear to everybody who has seen these trailers there's a very noticeable absence from Tina. She's not seen in any of them other than in a photo and possibly at the end of the last one but that is unconfirmed at this time. Now it looks to me like they have taken a leaf out of the book of the bad guys just as we see the Golden Trio do during the infiltration of Gringotts in the original books. Much like we see many of the enemies do throughout both series we've seen Grindelwald himself use it in the first movie and we've also seen Barty Crouch Jr. use it in the the Harry Potter series. Now the question then goes on to ask who would Tina be hiding as and I think that she is no other than Grindelwald's right hand woman and that is of course Rosia. If she was able to defeat Rosia and take on her form she would be perfectly positioned to provide information to Dumbledore and also to help protect the people that she loves. Obviously at the end of the last film, Queenie has switched sides and gone over to Grindelwald, so Tina would be perfectly positioned to protect her. And if this is the case, it then adds more drama to my original theory, where she is there to try to prevent Newt from getting the creature in Brazil. However, if she is in disguise via Apologies Potion, she would then of course not be trying to stop Newt and would actually help him escape. My third prediction is that Credence and Queenie will change sides throughout this movie and come back to the light side. I'll explain Queenie first and I believe that she will come to the light side when she sees that Jacob can use magic. We got a glimpse in the first trailer of Jacob being given a wand and magic happening around him but it wasn't very clear if he was making this magic happen or if it was some sort of misdirection. However in the second trailer it clearly looks like he is doing magic and must have some sort of magical heritage that we do not know about at this time. I think when Queenie sees this in this dining room area she will then see that she no longer has to side with Grindelwald to be able to be with the man that she loves who is part of the magical world just like she is. Now we see a few sorts of credence throughout this film and one of them is when he is fighting Dumbledore. I think during this sequence they will obviously have a discussion about who he is and where he has come from and Dumbledore will be able to lay some truths on him. I do not think he is going to be a Dumbledore but that is for us to wait and find out. Throughout the trailer we also see a few shots of him with Grindelwald and during these shots he seems to just be being abused by him. 
There is also very little footage of him from what scenes seem to be later on in the movie. So this to me would suggest that potentially he has swapped sides and they would not show this in the trailer. Also looking at this end scene here, it looks like this is going to take place after the final battle. So I believe that this scene is going to be most of our characters together. I think he could potentially be sat to the side over here away from the group as he does not feel part of it yet because he is a new member and it's only just changed allegiances my fourth theory is a big one and that is that Dumbledore has had his memory modified by Grindelwald we know during the battle between Grindelwald Aberforth and Dumbledore it resulted in the death of Ariana I believe that after this Dumbledore was so distraught about what happened to her that then Grindelwald came to him at a later time with a peace offering and an offering to remove his pain I think Dumbledore accepted this offer and Grindelwald then offered to remove the memory for him. I think this memory is going to be kept somewhere in a vial and hidden away. However, I think during this process, potentially Grindelwald has then put in a false memory to Dumbledore's mind. And that is the memory of the blood pack. I believe that the blood pact might not be real and that Grindelwald has planted this memory in his mind to stop Dumbledore from being able to fight him without actually creating a blood pact. Dumbledore is a very trusting man and we see this throughout the Harry Potter series. However, I do not believe he would willingly go into a binding contract that would stop him fighting somebody should they come to be a evil wizard. So if Grindelwald has created this false memory in Dumbledore's mind of the blood pact being created then this could be the way that Dumbledore gets around the blood pact and clearly has a fight with Grindelwald that we see within this trailer and my final theory for this film is also just as big and just as unsupported by evidence as the last one and that is if the blood pact is not actually a blood pact, then what is it and why is Grindelwald keeping it for such a long time? I believe when Dumbledore witnessed the death of Ariana, it was enough to split his soul in two. Very similar to that of killing somebody, he felt like it was his fault that she died and because of this, it split his soul in two. I believe in the attempt to cure his pain, Dumbledore then potentially made a horcrux out of the blood pact. We know throughout the Harry Potter series that Dumbledore seems to have an extreme knowledge of horcruxes and i believe this comes from him making one in his youth when grindelwald realizes what he's done he then implants the false memory to dumbledore's mind of the blood pact enabling him to spend some time to try to destroy the horcrux grindelwald being the trickster that he is has then allowed the horcrux to be given back to dumbledore and dumbledore is seeking a way to destroy it i think that the creature that newt finds in this brazilian jungle potentially could have venom similar to that of a basilisk that could be used to destroy the blood pact i think this is a perfect double bluff from grindelwald making the man who made the horcrux be the person to destroy it without him realizing it because of the false memories that he's planted again this is not much evidence to suggest this but i do love this theory and i hope that there is some truth to it so there you have it that's my five theories and there are some very far-fetched ones out there i'm not expecting to score highly when the film comes out and i rate how well i did on these theories but let me know what you thought of them down below and let me know what your theories are around this movie before it comes out i'm really looking forward to this movie now i'm getting really hyped up by the amount of trailers that we're seeing and the fact it is getting so close as i said at the beginning please consider subscribing and hit that like button because it really does help me out if you like any harry potter content then this is the place to be because i make all sorts of regular harry potter content that is it for this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one but until then mischief managed